This is the little pop-up rig that I used on the weekend to catch these absolute bangers. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Step one is to take off about 12 to 14 inches of coated braid, snip it off and then trim off using the stripper tool about three to four inches. Now we can pass the uncoated part of the braid through the back of the eye towards the shank of the hook and whip around six or seven times before passing the tag end back through the eye of the hook towards the point. That's a really important bit to remember, always towards the point. Now you can either use a little kicker or a piece of heat shrink. I use heat shrink purely down to personal preference. So slide that over and bring it down over your knot. We're gonna come back to the heat shrink later in the video. Now you wanna get either a micro ring swivel or a bait screw, and I'm gonna be using a bait screw. Now you're gonna need some hook beads. Pass your hook bead over the point and around the shank of the hook so that it's in line with the barb. Now you're gonna to need to get yourself an anti-tangle sleeve and pass that from the pointy end through your tag end of the rig that we've started to make. And just pass it down and keep it halfway down for now. To secure our rig to the lead setup, we're gonna perform a figure of eight knot. So quite simply, double over, create a loop, turn that loop 180 degrees, and pass the tag end back through the double loop. It's really important before you tighten down any knots to moisten them. With your knot pullers, just nip up that rig so it's nice and secure. Always test your knots. Snip off your tag ends and we are nearly complete on this rig. Now it's the time to attach your bait of choice. Because this rig's gonna be a pop-up rig, I'm gonna be using a pop-up. What I love about this rig is that you can adjust the height of the pop-up by using a split shot. This is a AAA split shot and that works perfectly for this brand and this size of pop-up. Now we can pull up our anti-tangle sleeve over your knot so that's ready to go. Go to your kettle and very carefully, we're gonna start steaming that heat shrink. As you can see, I've got a perfectly formed kicker that I've shaped into the shape that I want, and that's gonna work absolutely perfectly. And one final step, use the steam to straighten out your rig. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make this adjustable little pop-up rig. So give it a go, and if you wanna buy any bits to make this rig, click the link in the bottom left-hand side of the screen and give it a go yourself.